After decades of missed deadlines and unfulfilled promises, the South Coast Rail Project is delayed again. MBTA staff announced this week operation of the new rail system is unlikely to begin by this summer. NBC 10's Aaron Coogan joins us live in the studio tonight. And Aaron, folks say it's frustrating being so close to the finish line with still so many unanswered questions. Yeah, well, Sam, residents call the project an overdue lifeline to the region. Fall River, New Bedford, and Taunton, the only three major Massachusetts cities within a 50 mile radius of Boston, still without a direct commuter line. We'd like to have a date so we know it's coming for sure. Disappointed yet again, South Coast residents seemingly not shocked at the news of another delay to the $1.3 billion MBTA project promising fast access from their hometown to Boston. They've been talking about commuter rail in Fall River for 40 years. With missed deadlines dating back to 1990 when the then Massachusetts Governor Bill Weld promised a running rail by the turn of the century. South Coast residents say they've maintained a realistic optimism. Is hoping anytime soon in our lifetime anyways. <laughs> in recent years we've seen significant progress indicating the commuter line nearing completion. Construction of the Fall River and New Bedford stations both positive signs. Promises of a 2023 launch were delayed to the summer of 2024 and now with the most recent pushback others are now demanding concrete answers. The original project date for completion was last July then it was December then it was the spring and now we're looking at the fall and I think the frustrating part about this is that we need to know with certainty when that deadline is going to be. The need for connection is even more critical with more Massachusetts residents being priced out of Boston. This allows people that are being priced out of the metro Boston area to move a little bit further to the south where the prices are cheaper. We're sitting in, in Fall River where we have close to 2,000 market rate units and a lot of that's in large part due to the commuter rail. And I've been telling developers it's coming, and then it's sort of embarrassing when I have to go back and say, well, they missed this time schedule, they missed this time frame. MBTA representatives aren't providing a specific start date, citing more than 2,000 safety standard tests that still need to be completed. And still through it all, residents tell me they're not giving up on the project, excited for the economic potential it may spark in their home cities. Live tonight, Aaron Coogan, NBC 10 News.